Good afternoon, everyone. What is going on from around the country is an indication that there is no place anyone wants to tolerate a failed government. From around the whole world, there is no place, no country, no continent, no nation that anyone wants to tolerate a bad government or a failed government any longer. You have seen the protests ongoing in Bangladesh for some days now. And as I speak to you a few hours ago, the military has taken over the country and the prime minister have quit. The military now is informing us that they are going to form the interim government. That is the situation we are seeing. Because most leaders, political leaders to say, they are yet to realize that no one wants to tolerate their corrupt practices. No one wants to tolerate, tolerate their failed governance. No one wants to tolerate their embezzlement and the way of life that is detrimental to the masses. No one wants to tolerate a government that doesn't care for his people. No one wants to tolerate a government that has failed and keep on defending itself through the police and the, uh, and the state security services or any other armed forces. Now, this, uh, you know, the military taking over Bangladesh, it is historic. No one believed that such thing is going to happen. But the one that is surprising me most now is the United Kingdom. Day before yesterday, Elon Musk tweeted saying that the, the military, sorry, says that a civil war is inevitable in the UK. That is what Elon Musk said. The civil war is inevitable in the UK. And as I speak to you, the whole countries of the world are stopping their citizens not to go to UK. Wait, wait a minute. Are you talking of the UK? Yes, the United Kingdom. So many countries of the world are stopping their people not to go to the United Kingdom because of the unrest. And as I speak to you, many armed forces are preparing to hold their country because the country is about to collapse. UK is about to collapse. Now, this is an indication and a message to every politician in the world. People are no longer minded. The people are no longer joking. If you are not ready to lead according to the will of the people, that is according to how you people define what you people call democracy. Get ready for the action of the masses because the people are not going to take it lightly with you. That is what is going on. Now, the Prime Minister of UK just come out to give a, a war speech, just like what Tinubu gave, what Ruto first gave, because these people, they don't understand that there is no government without the people. And he's threatening the protesters. And the protesters are saying, we're going to show you that we own the country. We own the country. So as I speak to you, if you are traveling to the United Kingdom, suspend it. Because this protest, this civil war that is coming to UK is like anti-immigration law, anti-immigration uh, protest, anti-immigration riot. So it is because of immigration-related issue and immigrant-related issue that caused it. I don't want to go for that. Now, let me come back to what is going on in Kenya. In Kenya, what is going on is still going on. They have humbled their government. Now, let us return to our own country, Nigeria. As I speak to you, Tinumbu is in a secret meeting, closed door meeting with all the defense chiefs and um, heads of all these security operatives. I don't know the outcome of the meeting. I don't know what he's discussing with them. But the truth is that uh, in this country, we all must be very careful. Maybe Tinumbu is about to wake up. After giving speech yesterday, maybe he thought that through the speech that uh, the protest is going to end. It's a promise. We've said time with that number that this protest is not going to end until the demands are met. What is the essence of being in a country if the country cannot even care for the people, the country cannot protect the people, the country cannot do anything good for the people? Tinubu, in his speech, instead of him to focus on the problem we have, he was talking about what he has done, saying he gave money, he gave some governors money, like this, he do this, he do that. I was just looking at him, I was laughing. Because Tinubu don't understand what is coming. He don't understand how people are dying. Nigeria mainstream media don't report what is going on in the villages, in the rural areas. They don't talk about those things. The only thing they talk about is what is going on in Lagos and Abuja, how many money they embezzle, how they paddle budget, and so on and so forth. They are not understanding that so many things that are going wrong in the rural areas is still going to affect the nation as well. Because almost everyone has growth from the rural areas. So, Tinumbu, I don't know his next action. He's now meeting with the security heirs. I don't know his next action. But any action that is anti-people will be resisted. Any action by the government that is anti-people will be resisted. There is no time to back down. If Tinumbu thinks that uh, people who are protesting are not much, he should go on and continue to do what he's doing. 
and see whether Nigerians are protesting or few people are protesting. There is no going back to this protest. If the 10-day elapses will remobilize, if Tinubu uh, want to start arresting people in mass, let him get ready because I believe Nigeria don't have prison enough to occupy almost 150 million youth. Then, my message to so many people that have been bought over, my message to so many people that they have bribed, my message to people who are saying that um, people shouldn't protest. You see, from now to the next five months, if things are not put in place, you will regret your statement. Like before the election, I was telling people, those who collected money to vote for Tinumbu, those who collected money to rig the election against oppositions and in favor of Tinumbu, how far? How are you people faring today? I hope you are enjoying the effect of the corrupt practices you carried out during the election. No matter what you do on earth, you are going to receive the reward. Not in the next world to come, in this world. In this world, you are going to receive the reward. So no matter how you people go on the back of people trying to sabotage their struggles and make sure uh, that nothing is going to happen, you take your money, you go home and cook in dome, you go home and cook rice and drink your beer, you collected money to sabotage people's struggle, you are going to suffer for it. People who betrayed the good conscience during the election, they are the one protesting today. They are the one crying today. Don't you remember how Erofai helped Tinumbu? Where is Erofai today? He's regretting. I thought maybe I would even see him on the street. Erofai is not regretting. So what I'm trying to say is that we must be very straightforward people in Nigeria. We must understand that despite your brother is in the presidency, without you saying the truth, without you fighting the right cause, nothing is going to happen. Absolutely nothing. That is a message I have for people. And I really want things to change. When the government fear the people, there will be liberation, there will be freedom. But when the people fear the government, there will be tyranny. That is what we are seeing today. And later they will come out to tell us that there is something called democracy in Africa or in Nigeria. As far as I'm concerned, there is nothing like democracy in Africa. There is nothing like democracy in Nigeria. Because you cannot kill people who are exercising their, you know, their wish and you said you are in democracy. Tinumbu is never a democrat. There is no Nigerian politician who is a democrat. A democrat don't use force against the people. A democrat can't see people protesting and you begin to kill them. These people are not democrat. They are dictators. Tinumbu is a dictator. And Tinumbu will not receive his reward after death. He will not receive the reward in another world. On earth, in this earth, Tinumbu is going to receive the reward of the blood of the people that is in his hand, right from the time of election up to this very moment. He told us that he's going to start from where Buhari stop. And we are seeing that, yes, he really started from where Buhari stop. And it is not funny. It is not funny. So, with what is going on from around the country, look at what is about to start in Ghana again. Despite the court bar them not to protest, not to do all those things, they are remobilizing and they want to shut the country down. This is like a wave to end bad governance in Nigeria and in Africa and from across the whole world because this is no longer funny. The people are angry and we deserve a good government. <laughs>